And then aye, I think if you go into it with an open mind and you go into it wanting to make it look good, I think yeah. that's that's what helps. I think that's what helped with this. It was kinda we had a point to prove because we'd made a big jump, um, going going for even such a big horsepower New Holland as our first one of the New Holland. Yeah. So uh, aye, we had a point to prove and as I say it's it's, it's proved it fairly well. Hello and welcome along to a rather pleasant sunny southwest Scotland. Uh, well, it's sunny for now, there's, yeah, I mean, there's a couple of showers on the way looming, but we shall persevere. So, once again, we are out with the uh, GTR contract because they have a new forager for the 2023 season in the form of a New Holland FR 780. And piloting the machine, we have Glenn Sinclair. So, Glenn, before we sort of dive into this machine and what you think of it so far this season, uh, for those that may have not seen our previous video with GTR Contracts, just uh, yeah, just give us a bit of a flavour about what GTR Contracts is all about and what you get up to. Uh, so, I were a contracting company in a plant hire business in South West Scotland and yeah, we kind of, uh, I focus mostly on the, the, the agricultural side of things. Um, so, I we're a, we're a fairly good, good outfit. We've got probably 10,000 acre or so a year uh, of chopping and um, probably upwards of 500 acre of ryegrass chopping and do a bit of reseeding, um, tillage work, slurry work. Um, yeah, what a general, general contract to work anyway. So, so there's always something going there's on. There's always plenty going on anyway. And then between between that, um, the construction side's got a lot going on. They do a lot of forestry work um, and a lot of sites and wind farms. So uh, there's always always plenty going on anyway. So last time I was out with you guys, you were running a Jag, a class Jag, you were, uh, what would it be? Uh, 970? 970, the, yeah. The V8 one? Yes, aye, the V8. Um, aye, no, it's, it's still out. You've still got that one, have still you? still out and it's keep anyway, yeah. So this is the first year we've had two harvesters out. And um, aye, it's been very worthwhile, this, to be honest. It, it's probably covered, I would say, upwards of 2,500 acres. And I'm, I've done over 4,500 with this anyway. So um, at this hour in the season, it's, it's, it's pretty good, pretty good acreage anyway. Right. So this New Holland then, the FR 780, what was, uh, what's the reason behind going, having a bit of yellow in the fleet? Well, I guess you just need to try, try different things, I suppose. Yeah. Um, aye, it's, uh, there's no harm with the cars, they're, they're a phenomenal harvester, and um, that 970 is, aye, it's, it's an impressive bit of kit, but just, it was uh, try to branch out and try something different and see how it works for us, and it's, it's been good. It's worked really well, to be honest. It's, uh, I'm, I'm impressed with it and Gary's impressed and a lot of the clientele are impressed like so it's it's been good. Um obviously a lot, a lot of it comes down to the ballpark figure of money at the end of the day, but That's uh, it. you gotta got have a good deal, aren't you? You gotta have a good deal and, and aye, no for for um machine for money anyway you're you're getting a bit like it's it's a good bang for your book, I would is say, it? yeah. I would and, say uh, where would you have got this one from in terms of dealing? Uh, Lloyd's, Lloyd's and Dumfries. So we've, uh, I've had a good relationship with them for a few years. We've had a lot of tractors. Um, I had a couple of new Holland tractors. We say I had a uh, 270 and a 225 blue power. Um, so I going to this harvester myself was, was quite easy because it's the same kind of the same kind of controls really. Um, yeah. And I. No, I was, I was fairly rated the machines, but we've not got too many new hauling tractors anymore. We've um, a 230 and a 215, um, but aye, it's, we've got a mixed, mixed variation of tractors right enough. And like I say, going from 
the new Holland tractors, particularly the ones with the, the CVT, that'll feel probably be right, right, right at home on that one. That's what I had, um, both mine were auto commands, so to be honest, jumping onto this was, was fairly easy, um, and within a day you kind of forget what you knew about the cars and, and start afresh on this really, but <laughs> um, no, it's, it's so fickle. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, no, it's it's good. I'm I'm happy with it. It's 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 a nicer stick to hold. To be honest, it's it's a nicer uh, a nicer machine to drive. The only thing I will say is the buttons are a wee bit hard with being new. So um, I've kind of done away with the feeling of the top of my thumb. But I guess that's that's <laughs> it's just part and parcel with yeah. the with the machine. But, new, newness. <laughs> yeah, but no, hey, it's it's one of them. Um, every every driver will have their preference, but. Um, I was a cars man through and through before, but I mean, I I would say I'm fairly converted anyway. I'm fairly converted now. Right. And uh, how many acres did you say this one's done so far? Uh, about four and a half so far. So right. I'll, be up, aye, I'll be up near, by the time this job's finished, I'll yeah. be up near, near 5,000 acres anyway, which that's fairly good going. Right. Well, that's it, because we're only at the end of July now. When yeah. would you have started with this? It started in uh, the last week of April. Right. Last week, April, we done our first uh, thousand acre anyway. So, and in terms of the, I mean, you mentioned a few before in terms of the, the stuff that you chop with this. But will you, will you do maize and all kinds of things with this? We or? don't, we don't do any maize. Um, well, we don't do any maize unless the phone rings wants some maize chop. But uh, <laughs> as it stands now, no, there's not, there's not too much maize growing in the surety side. A lot more than the freeway, but um, not so much the surety. We're kind of um, rye grass support a local AD plant like so yeah that's uh, that's mainly what we do anyway and in terms of sort of comparisons because obviously it's you know it's, it's an easy comparison for you guys to make what's this been like compared to the Jaguar it's so far so good it's 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 been really good it's the fruit pouch uh, the fruit puts all better it, you can get the stuff through it a lot quicker and drier grass it's it's got a lot wider spout it's got a lot wider feed unit, um, and a, a, I would say there's probably more compaction. They reckon there's 4.2 ton of um, compression on your on your back to pre-compression rollers, which fairly irons out the lumps. Um, and the header, I, I've got to say, I think the header's better. Um, but again, the cars is a good harvester. They're a good product, but I just think there is competition out there for them now. Yeah. Um, they've always been a good harvester. And, and, and there's no doubt about that, but I think the, the competition are definitely up there. It's the same with tractors nowadays, really. There's, no, there's not a bad one. They're all, they're all as good as each other, I would say, but it's just your personal preference nowadays, That's really, it. isn't it? Exactly. Well, I've got to say, I mean, it certainly looks the part, does this forager. Yeah. What's the story behind the colour scheme on it? Um, well, it was, we actually, um, the one we've seen, to be honest, well, this one originally was, uh, it was just yellow, and I'd wanted it black, to be honest, and uh, <laughs> I'd wanted it black, and then they had an anniversary 650 and so it was uh, quickly swapped over with the panels, um, and then they got the wheels painted black and that as well, and uh, they were intending leaving the 650 stickers on it so that I wouldn't notice, but um, <laughs> I, I put two and two together and realised that the, the 780 that was yellow is now anniversary cars, so yeah, um, yeah that's it. it definitely looks all bad anyway. It's, 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 a, it's a really cool looking harvester now.